Hello everyone, it's Adam here. Today we're going to be changing air filter in R1200 GS Adventure. Here is the OEM part number. Top left hand corner there. Uh, I'm going to put a link below of the OEM air filter that's not BMW branded. It's about uh, well, roughly half the price. This was $29. Uh, the Mole Mahali OEM filter I think is like $15. 12, it's one of that, but anyway, it's a, it's a much cheaper option. So, as far as looks and such, here it is. Nothing really to it. Let's, uh, let's get started. This is only for the adventure bike. Um, the regular GS is probably pretty similar, but I can't comment on that one. I'm pretty sure you guys will figure it out in the end, though. Actually, I'll go ahead and start by removing the, uh, the seat of the bike. All right, we're going to start with T25. These two screws right here. Make sure you guys can see okay. We've got uh, three screws up here as well. One, two, and then three is down here. All T25. You know, the problem with um, that I have with BMW design is they use these little um, mounting brackets that uh, over time will wear out and need to be replaced. My 09 GSI at JSA, every time I took it apart to change the air filter, um, it would lead to a really crappy situation where um, the bolts would never want to go back into the fairings because the actual, I don't know if you can see this or not, because the actual um, bits that the bolts screw into, the screws screw into, were shot. All right, making sure you guys can still see here. So I ended up getting a, uh, an extension to make this work. And we have two more right here. So I wasn't recording there. I just didn't think it's very important to people to have the OEM set up, but this is just four extra long T25s to get this guy off. I didn't Loctite this the first time. The instructions said to, but uh, I didn't to see how it would do, and it's been fine. I haven't had any issues with it loosening up, but uh, if I had Loctited it, it was just the uh, the easy stuff, the medium stuff, so it, it really isn't a huge issue. All right, back to turning this off for you guys. All right, so now we have full motion here. That was gonna be a problem. There we go. All is good. That's actually a good time to clean this guy up if you want to clean it. Okay, so over here is the air filter. We've got four more screws here. Those are all four T25s. This is what I'm talking about, though. These things here, these little uh, tab things, these eventually wear out. And you can see this one had already kind of gone off. These both have gotten off kilter. So make sure before you fit this back together that you uh, realign those tabs because they really are a pain in the ass. Yeah, so that's something uh, for you guys to keep in mind if you're running the Evo tank bag. At least I wouldn't, I wouldn't need this extension anyway for the uh, thing. And for me, honestly, this is a good, this looks like a good method for um, if I need to install my horn, which is coming soon. I'm, I'm replacing the uh, horn on this thing uh, for any auxiliary lights. Anything you're doing electronically where you're running cables, this is a good place, way to actually manage those cables. So how does it look? Wow. Lots of bugs in there, lots of dust. Well, like any dust got through though, which is nice. It's pretty clean inside. I'm still gonna take a wet napkin and uh, rub all this out, clean this out. But uh, yeah, it definitely looks dirty. Let me uh, pause and do that, then I'll come back. Showing on the way the camera. All right, that's all lined up. Perfect. All right. 
that's all good. Perfect. Yeah, you gotta bend these out a little bit, which kind of scares me. It's almost as if I should take these, unscrew these a bit um, before I do this. That's better. There we go. So what I did was I slid in the right side first with the tab, and then this side. I'm gonna get a similar treatment. And that's it. You are done changing your oil filter. I'm oh, sorry, air filter. Hey, what? What video is this? <laughs> uh, yeah, done to change the air filter. Um, that that filter I just changed had 3,000 miles on it, 2,800 miles, but um, about 1,000 of those miles were uh, dust and dirt and mud. So the dust, we got 200 miles last weekend on dust. Dusty roads and sandy roads, and that was the uh, the chief reason why I changed this air filter 3,000 miles earlier than is required by BMW. It's a uh, cheap cheap insurance for me on that one. All right, well, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to put your seat back on before you start riding again. And have a good one. I don't think it matters, but this is the two bolts. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are looking at my crotch, but it's, it's right there instead. But uh, that was pretty easy. So we got two here. We've got two inside of the storage, and we've got three on the back. And if you've got an SW Motec key lock uh, for your tank bag, these have to come out too for the, uh, the top fairing to come off. All right, everyone, have a nice day, and good luck.